Hey guys, I'm Beefreak. Welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Last time we went north above Odil Oldale Town and ran into May. Had a quick battle with her. Made our way back over to Lil Root. Is that what the town's called? And we ran into her father again. And his her father gave us a Pokedex. And then we made our way over to Route 103, I believe is what it was called. Looked around for 102, sorry. We met May on Route 103. We went onto Route 102, looked around for a Ralts, found a Ralts, and in the process, friggin' Barraking knocked it out. I went ahead and went off screen to go grab ourselves another Ralts, plus um, four Zigzagoons, and holy crap, you actually have something. What do you have? You have an antidote, okay. Uh, I'll explain what the Zigzagoons are for in a second. Anyways, as my explanation was going on, we went and caught the Ralts, technically. I mean, yeah, technically. Screen. Then we ran to our father over here in Pelberg City, talked to him, found another kid named Wally. He went out and caught a Ralts, apparently, because our father loves him more than us and wouldn't give us a Pokemon to go catch our own Pokemon with. And that's basically where we ended. Oh yeah, we were also told to go head on and take the gym challenge, which we have to head over to Rustboro City in order to do that. That is a long opening. Anyway, in this part, we are going to continue on and try to head towards Rustboro City. But like I said, I'm going to quickly explain why I have all these zigzagoons for those of you who don't know. Zigzagoon has a special ability. The ability is called Pickup. The Pokemon may pick up items. Now, basically, this got changed in Generation 7 onward, but in Generation 6, it only has an out-of-battle effect instead of a both an in-battle and out-of-battle effect. What this basically means is that every time you fight a Pokemon, um, Pokemon with the ability Pickup have a chance to actually find random items. So, it's just a nice little thing to have. Um, what kind of items you get is kind of based off a chart, and it's also based off the Pokemon's level. So the higher the level Pokemon with the pickup, the better the items will be, most likely. Also, let's introduce you guys to Gardenia. So I already went ahead, already leveled up Gardenia. I managed to find a modest Ralts with Synchronize as its ability, which is nice. And in case you couldn't tell by the name, we are indeed going to try to evolve this into a Gardevoir. You can have a Gallade, which is the second ver second evolution, or fully evolved version of Ralts that they introduced in Generation 4. You can have a Gallade in this game, but you won't be able to get one until super late game, so... Or earlier, I guess, if you're lucky. I don't know. But yes, we got ourselves a synchronized Ralts, which will be really nice. And I already took the care of the business of leveling up the Ralts. And I also went ahead and leveled up everyone in Pokemon to me as well. All right, with all that introduction stuff out of the way, I know you guys probably stopped listening to me about three minutes ago. Let's get a move on. All right, we're on Route 104. It looks like we have two new Pokemon we can find here, but we're not interested in that. We aren't gonna be getting a new Pokemon for quite a while to my knowledge. Uh, what do you have to say? Oh no, I'm not a trainer, but it's true that Trainer's Locking Eye is basically an invitation to battle. If you don't want to battle with people, try to stay out of their line of sight. Yes, as I mentioned before, I'm going to try to avoid all all not required battles. Uh, what do we have? What is the train tell us to look for? Oh, it's just another six again. I already have four of those. You're an important character. Ha ha ha, my pretty Pika's as full of energy as usual. Alright, this guy, if he actually walked into his cabin here, you'd actually see him chasing his little Pico around the table. It's just his little pet winkles, all. He becomes more important later. Uh, are you a trainer? My Pokemon is stagger staggeringly tired. I should have brought a potion. Will you give him one of your potions? Eh, why not? There you go. What? Thank you. And what do we get out of it? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks to you, my Pokemon made a complete recovery. That's it? Okay, then. You know there's a Pokemon Center, like, you just walk around the beach and oh, whatever. Alright, we got more berries over here. I don't know if I said it last time, but I'm probably not going to replant these berries. I do recommend you guys replant the berries because they can be very valuable. There are two godlike berries that if I ever do find them, I probably will spend the time to replant them a whole bunch, but until then, I just don't have time nor patience for it. Now that is a new cry, if I remember. Alright, let's see. Uh, fun little fact, in Emerald, this uh, guy over here will actually be a... Uh, flower Girl, or like Aroma Lady, I believe is what they're called. Oh no, it's a Wormple. That was what the part was. You can tell how well I know the Generation 3 cries. Now, for pickup, I do not know if it only applies to if you KO the Pokemon or if just running away from the battle works too. Survey so says. Nope, got nothing. The reason why I have four of them as well, you have a higher chance of actually getting an item at the end of every battle with four Zigzagoons. 
Um, these Exegoons will, of course, not be our permanent party members. They're going to be replaced as we get newer party members. But we made it here into Petalburg Woods. God dang it. Uh, I really need repels. And once again, I'm going to apologize for the stuttering that's going on. I am limited to only playing this on emulator, and, well, that's just kind of the stuff you have to suck up and suck it up and deal with. Especially on a not-as-optimized emulator. Sometimes there are things on the ground even if you can't see them. That's why I always check where I'm walking. Yes, we'll actually get an item that'll help us with finding hidden items. Typically, if you see grass patches like this, it means that there's a hidden item. Anyways, the reason I came over here is not to encounter another Pokemon. Jeez. It's another Wurmple. Let's see if I can do it. Wurmple is interesting, though. It's a unique case for bug Pokemon. Most bug Pokemon just have their one line. Wurmple actually has a split evolutionary line. It can evolve into either Beautifly or Dustox. Uh, this is completely random. Anyone who tells you otherwise is wrong. Uh, what do you have to say? You're not better than a thief if you try to steal someone else's Pokemon. You should only throw Pokeballs at a wild Pokemon you encounter. Uh, <laughs> Pokemon um, Coliseum would like to talk to you about that. Alright, we got a Pokeball. Nice. And nothing. That's literally all there was over here. Oh well. Let's see if we can avoid this guy again and make our way back into the woods. Alright. Trainer tips. A Pokemon that appears even once in a battle is a Ward XP points. To raise a weak Pokemon, put it at the top of the team list. As soon as the battle starts, switch it out and it'll earn EXP points without being exposed to any harm. Funny thing about that, we're actually going to be getting an item very, very soon that kind of makes that obsolete. You are a trainer. I'm going to try to avoid you. Nice. Uh, for the uh, spinning traders right there, like the trainers that go in, that move in different directions, you want to not run by them, or at least, I don't know if that still applies in the modern generations, but at least in the old generations, you want to avoid running by them, because then they would actually turn to whatever direction they're running. That's another shroomish. Hello, you seem like a important character. Hmm, not one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Uh, funny thing you mentioned that, that... Who the hell are you? Fucking pirates in this world now? I was going to ambush you, but you had to blah, you had to dawdle in the Battle of Bird Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, demon researcher, hand over those papers. Hey! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Dude, I'm ten. What is with the incompetent adults around here? And in this world, everyone should be a freaking Pokemon trainer, or at least have a Pokemon to defend themselves. Are you kidding me? Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come and come on and battle me. I guess we don't have much of a choice. Alright, we get our first encounter with the evil team of this game, Team Aqua. Now, of course, depending on what version you're playing, you'll actually face a different team. You'll be facing Team Magma in, Ru in Omega Ruby. They're basically the same. They'll have just like differences in Pokemon later on in the game, and they have different goals and all that stuff. It's we'll get to more into it later on. So. But yeah, I feel like with the different teams, these kind of have a bit more significance in difference than most other uh, games that have that are split. Right, come on, Water Gun is unfortunately kind of our well. Is it? Let's take a look. at that. Actually, didn't I don't know if I did this before, but let's see. We know our physical attack is stronger because we have a special attack in nature. 50, 40, but it turns to 60 with stabs, so I think Water Gun is just our best stat right now. Well, it's Water Gun again. And, like I said, with Max Affection, you actually get bonuses, including boosted experience, which is really nice. Boosted experience, I really like. You're crazy strong. It helps you from... It helps prevent you from being underleveled with stuff. And if we learned anything from Borderlands, being underleveled sucks. Urgh. Got some nerve meddling with Team Rocket. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, if we have, we have Team Rocket also after selling in Rustboro, I'll let you go for today. Uh, bye. I guess. Hmm, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you this as my thanks. And this was the item I was talking about saying that trainer tips would become obsolete very quickly. Like, a few steps quickly. 
The XP shows a super high-tech device. I had to strain every fiber of my brain and body to develop this device. Turn the switch on, and battle experience will be shared by all party Pokémon. Please give it a try. And with this, I'll restore your Pokémon's health. It's another technical advance that I'm proud of. And he just fully restores everything. Yay! Ah, didn't that team Aqua Thug say they were hit? They were after something Rustboro too. Uh-oh, this is a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Yes, look at you just running in the crisis. Anyways, EXP share is a very controversial thing. I personally enjoy it. So, er, EXP, yeah, it's called the EXP share. Uh, so basically what the EXP share is, it used to be a held item that you would give to a Pokemon, and that Pokemon would get, uh, like, half of the experience gained in a battle without actually needing to be in the battle. Then came Generation 6, and they changed this into a key item, where now it will share the experience amongst all your party members. I don't know if they shared evenly, I don't think they do. I'll put a blurb on screen real quickly if I'm wrong, but I prefer having this thing on, honestly. Because, again, as I mentioned, I hate being underleveled. So, alright, I think that bug catcher is another trainer. You sneak by him. Yeah. Again, I'll fight these guys off screen. Off screen. I fought the guys, the uh, trainers that were over in Route 102 already, so... Uh, and we can't get over here quite yet. We'll be able to get over there eventually. But for now, we just leave the woods. This is the Pellberg Recon team checking in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Matt. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I'll continue investig investigating that energy being detected. <sighs> that kid sure had some promise as a trainer, I'd say. Well, that's weird. Don't know what that was all about, but whatever. Alright, we made it here onto Route 104. We have some more berries. Orin berries. I think these ones in the middle are cherry berries. Yeah, cherry berries. Cherry berries will heal paralysis, so pretty useful. I wouldn't say they're useful for the next battle that's coming up, but they are useful for a later battle. <laughs> Alright, and finally, Petra berries. Again, more poisoning stuff. We haven't actually been encountering a lot of things that can poison us. Alright, over here we have Petal, Pretty Petal Flower Shop. Let's go inside. Oh god, it's a whole bunch of girls. Get my gay ass out of here. Hello! This is Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers throughout the world. Your name is? P-Freak. That's a nice name. P-Freak, would you like to learn about berries? Uh, sure, I have nothing else better to do. Berries grow on trees and thrive only in soft soil. If you take some berries, be sure to plant one in soft soil. A planted berry will soon sprout, grow into a plant flower beautifully, and then grow berries again. I want to see the whole wide world filled with beautiful flowers. That is my dream. Please help me, P-Freak. Plant berries and bring more flowers into the world. Uh, no promises, sorry. Select berries on your area now, and you can check the places where you plant berries. And when the berry plants spread berries, berry symbols will be shown in the berry list of your area nav. How many more times am I going to say berries? So I recommend you check it often. What she's basically saying is that if we go over to our area nav here, we click on the thing, and then we can actually select berries right over here. Well, we can't. But we can if we were able to, like if we had some berries like that sprout or whatever, then it would actually show us. Ah, uh, funny little thing, actually. I forgot that they actually expanded this, so I believe now there's actually a rematch we can have with one of the trainers on Route 102. Which is definitely better than how they used to have it. Um, I mean, it's still probably random, but it used to be you, you had to get like a phone call or something from trainers in order to rebattle them. I don't know. I might be totally wrong. I'm trying to be like my big sisters. I'm growing flowers too. Here you go, it's for you. And we get a Persian berry. That's actually a berry we've not encountered yet. We plant berries to grow more berries, or you can have a Pokemon hold it. But now there's a machine that mixes up different berries to make different candies for Pokemon. I want some candy too. Huh. Interesting. Person Berry here's another, heals another status condition called Confusion. Alright, are you the one that has the item that I'm looking for? Hello. Flowers will bloom beautifully and bear many berries. Only take good care of them. You'll like tending flowers, I'm sure. You can have this. We get the Wilmer Pail. This is basically a watering bucket. While berry plants are growing, water them with a Wilmer Pail. Oh, another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop off onto the ground. But they'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they have the will to live. Yeah, that's great. Anyways, Wilmer Pale. Basically, when you plant a berry, you then want to water it. You know, like normal plants, they need water and nutrition. And behind here, we actually have several hidden item places. So, uh, that is a Wingle, if I remember that correct correctly. 
So we've got a Pokeball here. I don't think all these have hidden items in it. Yeah, that one doesn't. That one has a Super Potion. That heals... What's this generation that they changed it? Hold on, let me check. It heals... 50. Okay, no, I don't think this is generation. Uh, in the next generation, I believe it is. They actually changed it to he from healing 50 to healing 60, but in return, a later potion that we'll be getting got its uh, healing actually nerfed quite significantly. Yep. And we run to another Zigzagoon, which reminds me, we should probably check and see if any of our Zigzagoons had anything while we were actually, uh, while we were actually fighting the grunt. Oh, we can't get away. What? What level is this thing? I didn't even check. It's level 7. Jeez. Maybe I should have walked all the way up here and then traded Gardenia. Jeez. Oh, that reminds me. I should actually be swapping out. This is how... Oh, hey. Two, two of our Zigzagoons actually have items. Good thing I checked. Got a potion. Not bad. And a full heal. Oh, that's a nice early game item. Full heal will fully heal any status problem the Pokemon has. It has multiple status problems like confusion and burn. It will heal both of them. It is a medicine item, though, so you can't, like, give it to a Pokemon to hold it and then use it automatically. Anyways, I should mention my training style. What I typically do is that I try to keep a Pokemon at even levels. I learned this from early on when, well, in Pokemon Emerald game, where all I did was train my Swampert, and, uh, yeah, I kind of got screwed at the final boss, so that's what I basically like to do. So I'm going to have Gardenia out for a while until she hits level 11. And X-Attack. This is a battle item. Basically, you give this to a Pokemon in battle, it will raise their attack by one stage. One stage. Stage is basically they get a small percentage buff to whatever stat you're buffing. What's up? I like to shout my lungs out. It feels so good. You can have this too. So you can try it out. Use it on a Pokemon and it will learn a move to attack with its voice. If the move is used several times in a row, it becomes more powerful. And we get our first instance of a TM, a technical machine. This is Echoed Voice. Word of advice a TM or technical machine can be used many times, so it won't go away. So try it out as many times as you want. Yes, this was actually changed in Generation 5, where now TMs are infinite uses, which is really nice. TMs are basically just ways for you to teach Pokemon new moves. Frick. I could have dodged you. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Please don't say that. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to fight this lady real quick. Oh, I forgot. I forgot this lady for some god-awful reason. That's a freaking full restore. For those who don't know, a full restore is a super... Well, okay, not super, but it's a pretty late-game healing item that fully heals the Pokemon and cures it of all status conditions. Why you have a full restore when you haven't even made it to the first gym, I don't know. And mostly, most of the time, basic trainers aren't even supposed to have like, healing items with them. It's usually reserved for bosses, but if the lady gets to be fancy or whatever. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is that with the XP share, we'll actually be able to have our Zigzagoons level up as well, which means that we'll hopefully be getting better items from them during the pickup abilities. So that's nice. Does mean we have to go through a lot of level up screens, though. And we also get a ton of money, because apparently the class Lady and also the other class Rich Boy, which we skipped by earlier, they give off a lot of money, so that's cool. Uh, you guys look to be a required battle, and this will be a good example of something they... That's technically new. I mean, it's been a thing for a while now, but it was first introduced within the Hoenn games, the original Generation 3 games. We're twins, so we battle Pokemon together, too. Alright, you're gonna battle our Pokemon. This is our introduction to what's known as a double battle, where instead of just sending out one Pokemon to one-on-one -on -one fight each other, you send out two Pokemon to fight alongside each other. So, thankfully, we have two Pokemon with us, so we'll have Gardenia and Barricane fight them off. Uh, it was kind of a rough fight for Barry King, though. Uh, let's get rid of that low tat. That low tat's gonna be the hardest for Barry King to deal with, I think. Oh, hey, good thing, too. Uh, see, does using Bite. Basically, when a Pokemon bites, they absorb the damage that you deal to it, and then after two turns, it will fire back that damage and double its strength. So, yeah, whenever a Pokemon bites, it's easily predictable. You just need to not attack it. So we're instead of going to double team, I will be getting rid of double team. Double team's a cheap move that raises evasion, which basically lowers the chance of you getting hit by a move. And we're going to growl. So, after, so it's storing energy, but because we're not attacking at all, it's basically going to do no damage. So it's wasting its time. Alright. And now we can actually attack it. Because Bite has actually what's known as priority, where it will go before most other moves. 
I believe Bide also lowers the damage he takes slightly, which is interesting, I guess. Alright, let's finish this thing off. There we go. And that was our first introduction to a double battle. Nice. Alright, and with that, Bear King is level 12. This is one issue with the XP share, is that eh, Foresight's not that great. Yeah, I'll give him a foresight. Uh, that's another issue with the XP share in my leveling system, is that eventually the Pokemon are going to become unevenly leveled, so it's it's annoying. And anyways, foresight, what it does is that it allows you to hit ghost types with normal and fight type moves, moves that ghost types are normally immune to. I'm so disappointed we lost, we lost even though we fought together. Yeah, that's how the cookie crumbles, ain't it, kids? All right, let's see, moving on forward. We have a Fisher we can talk to, but again, you don't seem like a trainer. You see berries growing in soft soil. Free free to take them. Make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. Yeah, it's common courtesy, but I'm the only one playing here, so... Chesto berry. Wait, look at it. You must be a trainer. No? Trainers often make Pokemon hold berries. It's up to you whether you to grow berries or use them. Chesto berry will uh, recover you from the sleeping sass condition. Four orange berries. Jeez. Okay. Four cherry berries. God, we have so many berries. I forget, this was like... The first time they actually introduced plantable berries. It was basically a whole retcon of berries. Because originally you had just like simple items like berry, gold berry, poison cure berry, or whatever. Oh, we're in a whole new town, technically. <laughs> and yeah, so they retconned the entire thing and actually allowed you to plant them. Normally you would just find them in the apricorn trees that we found in our hard gold let's play. Some, not all of them had apricorns in them, some of them had berries in them in, back in the original generation. But yeah, that's kind of spoiled it, but we are over in the town we were told to go to. Is there anything else over here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Welcome to Respiro City. Oh look, it's her again. How'd she, how'd she get ahead of us? So you made it here to Respiro too, Bee Freak. Yep, pretty big city. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Root can't even compare. Nope. Well again, again, it's Little Root Town, and this is Respiro City, so... Oh, and Beefreak, have you heard? There's a Pokemon gym here, too. Yeah, that's kind of why we're here. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on with my team. See you later. All right, see you, May. You don't really seem like the battling type, honestly. You seem more like the contest type. But that's neither here or now. I'd say this is a good place for us to stop. We finally made it over here to our first destination and our road to battling all the gyms in Rustboro City. And we were also told that something was going on here with the Team Aqua Grunt here in Rustboro City. I don't know. I'd say next time we should actually explore the place. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel and follow me on all social media links. All that will be in the description. Next time, it's exploring around Rustboro City and then ending it off probably with the gym battle. I'll see you guys then.